Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see the problem of the smallest missing non-negative integer after operation. It's a pretty easy problem. I guess it is very easy. It's just that, okay, how we think and approach this. Let's see the problem quickly. It says that we are given a zero-ness integer array called as nums and an integer called as value. What it says is that in one operation, you can add or subtract value which is given to us from an element of nums. If we have this nums array and we have this value, we can add or subtract from this nums of any element. Cool. For example, if we have this 1, 2, 3 and the value is 2, so I can choose any element. In this case, I choose uh, 1 and I subtracted 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So I got a minus 1. Cool. MEX, which means minimum excluded, is defined as the smallest missing non-negative integer in the nums. If we have something like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, then you can easily see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If we go on from non-negative integers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the first non-missing element was, the first missing element was 5. Because 0 was present, 1 was present, 4 was, uh, 3 was present, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4 was present, the missing one was 5. So in MEX, I just go on from 0 and see what is the first element which is not present. If let's say 0 itself is not present, for example in this case, when the MEX of minus 1, 2, 3 is nothing but 0. Because I start from 0 itself, I'm not concerned about the negative values. I'm concerned only about from 0, what is the next element which is missing because after 0 it comes 1, 2, 3, 4, up till so on. What's the next missing value that is I'm concerned about. So basically I have to find the maximum MEX and the operation I can do is I can just add or subtract that value any times. So it means that okay I have to make the sequence something like 0, 1, 2, 3, try to make it at max as possible. This means okay I have to make it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But before you can easily also see one thing, if we have, if we have an operation of adding and subtracting my value anytime, so if I have this value, let's say 2, my value of num size is 2, I can add or subtract any time, any number of time in this. So I can easily achieve a 2, a 7, a 12, a 17 and so on. So I can achieve every number. So it is much more convenient for me to actually, if I have these numbers, let's say if I have a 7, I'll just convert back it to 2. I'll just have a 12, I'll just convert back to 2. I just have a 17, I'll just convert back it to 2. Because I'll at least I would be able to know, okay, if I have 2, let's say if I have 2, 8 number of times, so I can achieve a 2 after that. Because see, after that, the most consecutive one. Because see, if I had a, if, if I had a 2 and a 17, then if I convert them back to 2, then I'm pretty sure I can achieve a 2 and a 7 because I'm more concerned about the starting elements. I want to create elements from the starting. So I'm just more concerned. It should be as close to 0 as possible. So I'll just, I can have a 2 and after 2, I can add a 5 so I can get a 7. So basically after 17, if we subtract, we can get a 2, which means 17 minus 5, minus 5, minus 5. I can get a 2. And after that, I'll just add a 5 to get a 7. So ultimately, I'll just try to bring down every number to the smallest non-negative number. By the remainder itself, it's, it's just a remainder, which means if I have a 7 mod 5, it's nothing but 2. A 12 mod 5, it's nothing but a 2. So just a remainder of every number. But, 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 the numbers can be negative also, right? Negative also. How to handle them? Because if the number is negative, it's of no use to me. Because my MEX will for sure start from 0 itself. So it's also good to convert that numbers to positive and also to find the that remainder thing which we found for the positive numbers also for these like negative numbers but one thing you will also make sure that for negative numbers when we find the mod it is minus 12 mod 5 is nothing but minus 2 so i need to add a plus 5 to get a 3 which means minus 12 mod 5 will actually now be become a 3 so after this i can just get a 3 a 8 and so on 
Okay, now I can pretty easily see, okay, I can just convert my numbers to the mods and these mods will help me to actually build up the number from zero. Cool, let's see how. Firstly, we got the intuition, okay, we can convert the numbers to mods because it's much easier because we have to bring the number closer to zero. We convert them to mods so that we can easily bring the numbers back up from the smallest possible range, which means from two, I can just bring the numbers, as I said, to let's say five, two, let's say uh, from two, I can get a two, seven, 12, and from that. Cool, I just, I just converted them to their mods, which is this ones, one mod five, minus 10 mod five, see minus 10 mod five is zero, but if we still add a five, and then do again a mod five, then I'll just get a zero, as I showed you guys, right? I just add a five because other numbers can be negative, still negative because minus 11 mod five would be minus one. So minus one plus five would be four. Then four mod five is again a four. Then same goes for every element. I just found the mod. Now, okay, I have the least possible values I can start from for every number. Finding the mod is just to get to a least possible value. I can start for every number, which means that, okay, I can start from zero. Now, I can start from zero because see, for any x, I just, I just told you, right? I just want to make something of the sort that I just want to get it as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I just want to make it as continuous as possible, starting from zero. So I just grabbed a zero because I just, broke, I just brought down every number to the smallest possible number they can be. So I just grabbed a zero. Next, I need to grab a one. I, grab, I need to grab a 2, I need to grab a 3, I need to grab a 4. But 4 is not found, right? But it, what we did was our best. It was our best. So, MEX is now 4. Because we did our best. We can't do better than this. MEX is 4. But let's see another example. If we had this example, we brought every number down to their minimum value, which is 0, 1, 1, 2, 0. Okay, cool. Then I'll just grab this number. I got it. Zero, got it. One, got. Two, got. Three, got. No, three is not there. So is it the case that, okay, my MEX is three? No. You remember why? Because we converted this nums array to their least value, which means that if I need to find a three, it's also equivalent. If my value is three, I can also find a zero because from zero, I can reach back to three. So rather than searching for my value, which was from, see, I am searching for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Rather search for values, 0, mod value, 1, mod value, 2, mod value, 3, mod value, 4, mod value, 5, mod value, and so on. With this, because see, I, if I just search for a 3, mod value, I'll just want to search for a 3, mod 3, which is 0. I'll search for a 0. And I'll see, okay, my zero is present. Considering one zero was occupied, my but one zero is still present. Next, it was for three. Next, I need to search for four. Rather searching for four, let's search for four mod three. I need to search for one because I brought every number down to the minimum value. And it is a minimum value which I need to get. Is one present? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I just got a one. I just search for five. Search for five mod three, which, which is two. Search for two. Is two present? Mm -hmm. Because it's gone. Two is not present. Two is not there. So my MEX is nothing but my five. And that is the same thing to just grab firstly converted every number to the least possible remainder by just having that. See, if the number is negative, I showed you guys, you can, you can just have a number modulo value plus value and ultimately also have that number modulo value so, so that the number is converted to this least possible value. I just updated the frequency of every number because you saw here, right? Zero was here, zero was also here. So one zero was being used for zero, one zero was being used for three. So I just needed the frequency of every particular remainder. Ultimately, I'll just go on in my loop as far as I can go, as far as I can go, I'll just check. If the required value, required value is like, like required value is what? Next value plus one modulo of that value. Because ultimately I want the modulos, right? I'll just check if the required value is present or not. Is it, its frequency is still remaining or not. If it is, then I'm good. Voila. I can just increment my answer. Answer means next MEX. 
if it is not i need to break sorry i could not find ultimately i can just turn the mx which is the actual answer i hope that you guys enjoyed the whole intuition how we thought of why remainder is needed how remainder will solve a problem and all that stuff if yes then do the like button and see you in the next video take care good bye